Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Sen. I do sewing tutorials, fashion illustration, and a little bit of travel vlogs. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. In today's video, we will be discussing about wedding veils. So, papakita ko rin dito kung paano ko gagawin wedding veil ng isa kong client. So, we will be discussing different kinds of veils, yung length, and what is the perfect length for your bridal client. So, let's get started! This is the material I am going to use for my client's bridal veil. I am going to make an oval shaped veil. So, the first thing na gagawin mo to make ends na maging circular or round is to fold the fabric in half. After folding it in half, bring the folded corner down to the selvage creating a triangular shape as shown on the video. Continue folding it in one direction. Keep folding the fabric as you can. After folding, we can now cut the excess fabric using the selvage line as our guide. What does veil mean in a wedding? The veil came to symbolize modesty and obedience. In many religions, it is seen as a symbol of reverence for women to cover their heads. The first type of wedding veil is classic bridal veil. Classic bridal veil is a U-shaped veil that has been gathered onto a comb. This is the most common veil style and will go with almost any dress silhouette. The second type is the classic bridal veil with blusher. This is the classic style bridal veil with a blusher added on to either add an extra layer for the back to add an additional layer to wear over your face while walking down the aisle. The blusher is typically about 30 inches in length but varies depending on veil placement. After cutting the edges in round shape, I am going to use horse hair as finishing for the hem. You can also use trimmings or lace with scallops on the edge or just simply do a rolled hem using a narrow hammer foot. Pin and place the horsehair on the edge of the wedding veil. After pinning, we're now ready to sew it down. I am using a 2 eighths of an inch sewing allowance here. The third type of wedding veil is called drop veil or circle veil. Drop veil is either a circle cut or oval cut veil that has a comb sewn in to make a blusher layer. This veil is one continuous piece rather than two completely separate layers. Drop veils vary in length but the most common length are the fingertip or cathedral lengths with the blusher being 30 inches. The fourth type is Lace Mantilla Veil. Mantilla Veil, this is a beautiful Spanish style veil cut into an oval shape with a lace border. The most common length for this veil style is the fingertip or cathedral length, though you will want to consider your dress when choosing the length. After sewing it down, I am going to do some hand stitching to secure the end of the horsehair. The fifth type is oval shaped veil. Oval shaped veil just like mantilla veil without a lace border. The veil is cut into an oval shape and creates a beautiful cascading edge. You can use fine tool or silk chiffon. These fabrics create a soft and flowy veil. Or you can make this veil in Bridal Illusion Tool if you're looking for something more sheer. After the hand stitching, flip the horse hair on the other side of the tool. Then top stitch it down. Next. 
next type is the bridal cap veil. The bridal cap veil came from the 20s Art Deco era but many brides have featured this vintage style in their weddings. This veil is typically made with two layers, sometimes just one layer and gathered at each side to create a cap over the head. It is common to see this veil style with a floral or jewel ornamentation covering the gathered area. After top stitching, we're going to iron out the hem part of the veil to remove the fold mark of the horsehair. Horsehair is made of nylon, so please don't forget to use press cloth when pressing this material. The last type of wedding veil is birdcage or blusher veil. This veil name can sometimes be confusing for brides because a blusher can also be referred to as the layer that the bride flips over the face when walking down the aisle. But when industry professionals refer to a blusher or a birdcage veil, this is the style they are referring to. A blusher veil is made with bridal illusion tool or silk tool, birdcage made with birdcage netting or Russian netting that has large diamond shapes. Most of these veils are about 9 to 10 inches in length. How to pick the right veil for your dress? A gown with a long train, as long as your gown doesn't have a ton of back detail, you can pretty much wear any type of veil with a dress that has a long train. For a sassy cocktail length gown or shorter, a birdcage veil is perfect or a whimsical multiple layer veil in shorter length, something reminiscent of an Audrey Hepburn movie. A chapel veil is great for a beach wedding when you want the veil flowing in the wind but not to be too cumbersome. And this is the final look of our bridal veil. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you like, comment, and share this channel with all of your friends. And I'll see you on my next video.